So the proper alignment in classical ballet. Don't stick out with your butt and with your stomach. You should pull them up, not too much in, but up. When you open your chest, try to close at your ribs and take down and back your shoulders. We are standing in a hip wide parallel position facing the bar and we do four ankle circle outwards and then inwards and we do half point full point half point and back twice try to keep your knee towards your feet and we do this the hole to the left try to keep your toes on the floor keep your alignment be straight in your spine and try to relax your arms and we do half point half point we go through of roll away, try to sink down instead of falling down. We do it eight times and then we do it with the plie, with the knee bending. Try to keep your knee towards your foot and we place it down and we do a knee bending plie, first position. And then we do the half point, changing it in first position as well, eight times. Keep your ankle, press your ankle towards your big toe instead of going back. And the plie, open your hip. Try to keep your weight in the center. Placing down, let's go to the second position with the tendu. And the same, we do a half point, but this time you can put some weight on your feet. But keep your back straight. And with the plie, open the hip even more and the knees goes to the side. And this time, your weight is in the middle. And in the end, we just close to the first position and then back to the parallel. Take care of your foot. Your ankle shouldn't go out. You should press it towards your big toe. Don't press it towards the little toe because it's very bad to your joints. Also in the first position, don't go backwards. You should go on your half point and try to not fall, but to sink down, pressing your ankle towards the front and pressing your heels towards the front as well. So we do a plie, we have a close position and then we do the plie, roll away, stretch the knees and sinking down, not falling down but sinking down, try to keep together your heels, your knees as much as you can, try to relax your elbows, your arms and backwards as well. We do it eight times, releve, plie, bracing down the heels and stretch. And then we just do a plie 
and just eight times we are lifting the heels try to keep your height don't go higher don't stretch the knee the knee stays try to not bend your hip and then with straight knees the same try to keep together your legs your heels and your toes and in the end try to stay we take a first position with the arm placing down to the bar and just sinking down plie first position don't over rotate it just until your hip lets you and then we do the same exercise in first position especially when you are sinking down from the releve try to press your heels to the front your knees should go towards your feet and backwards the same keep your stomach your lower back lift up the chest a little bit and keep down your shoulders and we do plie and just eight times at least we just do releves in plie And then the same with stretched knee. Try to rise up instead of jumping up and try to sink down instead of falling down. And in the end, try to stay in first position. And just close it back. We go up to first position releve from the hip downwards you're pressing down towards the floor above you try to lift it up when you open the chest but close the ribs very important take down the shoulders and then we lift our arms to first position with your head like you would keep the ceiling don't drop your elbows try to keep them and don't go backwards with your heels. You're breathing in. You breathe in, it's small and soft. You don't move your shoulders. So don't move the shoulders and don't go so much high. This is small and gentle. And you're following with your head. In plie, try to keep your knee towards your feet. Don't go out with your butt. But also don't press it too much to the front. Try to be straight. And stretch. To ground plie. It's wrong if you first lift your ankles and then you go down. No. You should keep down your heels until you just can and when you cannot then you go down. Don't sit on it. Keep your posture. And the other thing what usually people do that they try to help themselves to come up. No, try to solve it with muscles. Just straight up. In second position, same. Don't stick out your butt. Don't go deeper. Try to keep your alignment. And as much as your alignment lets you go down, 
That's your deepest position. In fourth position, again the knees. Don't go to the front. Don't go to the back. You should be in the middle and keep your knees towards the side. And then in fifth position, the same. Don't let your knee go into the front. It's very unhealthy. Try to keep them to the side. Don't stick at your butt. Don't let your stomach out. But you also don't have to over pull them. We are in a parallel closed position. We do two slow plies, keeping our alignment. And then we play a little bit with the rhythm. First position, the same. So we do plie and stretch and plie and stretch and plie stretch 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 down 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 stretch that is going to be our rhythm try to keep your ribs but lift up and open your chest and your hand on the bar should be always a little bit front of you never go behind yourself it doesn't help fourth position Keep down your heels. Turn to fifth position. So your front leg, heel touching your back leg, big toe. But the opposite way around that your back leg, heel doesn't have to be touched by your little toe finger. Don't over rotate it. It's very bad for your joints if you do. Let me just closing back to the starting position. We are standing in the first position and we do a breathing. First position and opening it. Breathe in and plie. As you see, my shoulder doesn't move. Try also not move your hip bones. So your two shoulder and your hip bones are always facing front. At least now at the plie. Try to not lift your hip when you do the second position. And when you stretch your knee, try to press it from your heels towards the floor. And in grand plie, and in every plie, even though you go downwards, try to lift your upper body upwards. You keep up, up, up. So the energy goes in two directions. Fourth position. If you have to move your arm on the bar, just do it. It has to be front of you. And in first position, your weight has to be between your legs. Try to always keep your alignment. Don't sit on the grand plie position. Try to be above. In classical ballet, you always have to be above. Above on your legs. Always when you do the breathing, don't move your shoulders. And we just close it back to the same position as we just were starting with. 